Russia does have a rather important interest in the Middle East. And uh, the first and the most important of them is the fact that Syria is effectively the only ally which Russia has in this region. So it is very important to uh, preserve the Platzdarm in that region. So that is the first uh, interest, to preserve the regime which is friendly towards the Kremlin and provides these basing rights in Syria. Tartu's naval base there is very good. Russia is building an air force base near Latakia. There are some signs that it might be very serious temptation, so Russia will never pull uh, back out of the uh, newly uh, acquired air base. So that is very important to preserve the role there. And then probably it is, uh, you know, it's once again it is important to, to, uh, to preserve the role for the Kremlin as the major player or important player in the region. Well, there have been some significant developments in the UN General Assembly, but also in the uh, preceding months where the Saudis were talking directly to Moscow, the Americans were engaging also uh, on a number of different tracks to try and find a political solution um, to the conflict in Syria. This has been, of course, accelerated by a huge outpouring of refugees, um, some of whom unfortunately have met their deaths in the uh, Mediterranean Sea. And this type of uh, of urgency has now forced Russia uh, to make a decision and it has come in quite clearly with military power into Syria and this has uh, changed the game somewhat. And that is due to the two most urgent uh, needs which uh, the Kremlin has now. The first one is to break through the political isolation around Vladimir Putin and that is nearly achieved because he is currently the leader of country which is fighting so that is very important and the second goal is to have sanctions lifted it seems that the calculation is rather straightforward if the air campaign with the Russian participation will last until January it will be very difficult to as the Kremlin believes, it will be very difficult to uh, extend sanctions against your ally in anti-terrorist operations, so sanctions will be lifted, after which uh, the Russian side might pull out uh, from the campaign. Uh, Russian airstrikes might be effective in some terms, uh, in tactical or sub-tactical level, because they do uh, have chance to destroy certain uh, targets which might be valuable or helpful. But uh, Russian uh, air campaign cannot be decisive just to the uh, because it is, if it would be possible to defeat ISIS with airstrikes, the West would achieve that with its own airstrikes. So it is not enough to, to bomb ISIS. It is necessary to send troops. So without uh, participation of land forces, Russian participation cannot be decisive. Indeed, Russia appears to be backing its ally Bashar al-Assad, working against groups that are fighting Bashar al-Assad and not the Islamic State. Indeed, Military activity taken by Russia harks back to a time when uh, jihad first found its real raison d'etre in 1979 in Afghanistan, uh, which produced the source for al-Qaeda and extremism. So if Russia wants to be a, a helpful ally in the fight against the Islamic State, uh, more bombing is not going to be the solution.